Hey everyone, I know this isn't my normal filming space, but at the moment my bedroom isn't the best place to be filming because I've got stuff in there that can't be seen on video for reasons for Christmas. Uh, so this is my filming space at the moment. Uh, sorry it's not like it normally is, but you get to enjoy the lovely pictures behind me. Uh, so anyway, sorry about that. Let's get in to today's video. Hi everyone! So for today's video, the other day on my Instagram, my rugby account, not my main account, I asked on the story for people to send me in some questions and because I haven't filmed a video in such a long time, I thought I would literally just do a Q&A. <clears throat> Sorry if that's not what you want to see on my channel, but that is what I thought I would do because I haven't filmed in such a long time. So literally I got, I think I got about 16 questions that I wanted to answer. They're all sport and rugby related I think in some sort of way. Uh, okay, so the first question that I got is, are you going to any games soon? Yes, not soon soon, but like in a month's time is my first one. Uh, so I'm going to Barbarians versus Samoa at the end of November. And then I'm going to Big Game 13, the day after Boxing Day. Uh, hopefully I'll have a chance to go to some women's matches in between there. Like, I think we're going on the 6th to see Quinns, because uh, they're playing at Surrey Sports Park. Um, but yeah. So, the next question that I got was, who do you want to win the Premiership? Three teams I want, well, one I would really like, and then the two are, if that one doesn't win, then either of them two. So, obviously I really want Quinns to win, become back-to-back uh, -back champions. Uh, but if Quinns don't win, it, I would either like it to be Leicester or London Irish. Uh, where are Le London Irish? London Irish in ninth, and Leicester are first on the table um so either of them two if quinn's don't win uh the next question i got was favorite player from each premiership team so i read this question and i actually had to write down every club and then my favorite player for that club so we'll start with bristol and then we'll just work my way down the list of what i wrote uh, so for Bristol, it would probably either be Carl Sinclair or Harry Randall. Uh, they're both really good players. I'm really excited to see both of them in the England squad. Uh, Bath, I uh, Bath would be Anthony Watson and Jonathan Joseph. Uh, really like both players. They were both really good for England squad. I'm very sad that Anthony Watson has been injured and can't play for England because he would have been really good had he been fit. Uh, for London Irish, I've got Ollie Hassel Collins. Now, I really like this guy. I think he's a great guy on the pitch. Um, and I think that he should be having an England chance soon because he's really good at London Irish and I think that he could potentially do really good things for England. Saracens, I put Jamie George. To think that when I first started rugby, the team that I supported was Saracens. Now I can't think of a player that I can sit there and go, oh, actually, I really like that player because there isn't one. Uh, for Exeter, I got Henry Slade, Jack Knoll and Harry Williams. Now, I like all three of them. I'm really upset that Jack hasn't been given another been given another England chance because uh, I really like him. And actually, I should also probably include in that Sam and Joe Simmons uh, because I really like both of them as well. Uh, and I love Harry Williams. I just think he's absolutely amazing. As a prop, he is like me. <laughs> 
uh wasps i got tom and jack willis and dan robson uh i really like robson i think he's a great guy uh for england and i think that was he on the england squad i don't know i think so uh and when jack is fit again i think that he'll be back as soon as that on the england squad and actually he really deserves it for worcester i got scott baldwin uh ex quins player really great player he's a hooker really great player and i can't fault the guy <laughs> uh for leicester i've got three players i don't like the whole squad there are definitely players for leicester that i can't stand and if you know me then you know who they are uh but the three that i got are george ford freddie stewart and freddie burns really look really looking forward to see freddie stewart in the england squad uh, i'm really upset that george ford didn't make the england squad and you know freddie burns is just he's just cool isn't he uh for gloucester i got louis reese Amit. louis Re louis reese Amit. louis reese Amit. however you want to say his name um i think he's a great player Shame he's a shame he's Wales, Welsh, but you know, great player. Northampton, I got Dan Bigger again. Shame he's Welsh, but I actually really like him. I think he's a great kicker, and I think that Northampton can do good things with him. Uh, for sale, I got Tom and Ben Curry. Great players, really like them. Wouldn't fault them. When they're played together, they're amazing. Uh, for Newcastle, I got Mike Brown and Adam Radwan. Now, Brown is an ex Quins player, so it's a bit of a sore subject. Um, but Brown is a great guy. Come on, he is. Uh, and Adam Radwan, I cannot wait to see him in the England squad because he will do amazing things. Uh, I forgot someone for Bath, Sam Underhill. He's amazing and I love it when him and Tom are the two flankers. I think it's amazing. Uh, and then for Quinns, now, where do I start? <laughs> I just love them all. Marla is just my spirit animal. Just in, just him. Uh, and I'm so, I'm so glad we got Wilco Lowe back. He's just come back from South Africa um but yeah no i really i really like them all don brandt smith the whole shebang care i just can't fault them i love i absolutely love all of them and i think they're all amazing and yeah so the next question i got asked is favorite team kit premiership and country so obviously i'm gonna say favorite well, looking at the new kits, actually, I really like the Scotland's new kit. And I think it's a really nice kit. Uh, England's is, it's nice and, and all, but I actually really like Scotland's. I was a bit shocked when I saw it and I was like, actually, this is really nice. Uh, the Welsh one, I'm not too sure on. The Irish one I really like, and I would happily buy that for myself. Um, I'm just glad with England now that they've got a men and a women's shirt, but the women have their own shirt, but they don't have to wear the men's anymore. Uh, and Premiership, well, Quinn's. First, second, third, top, oh, I love all of them. I would have all of them. I haven't got all of them, but I would love all of them. <laughs> Okay, so next question I've got is favourite workout clothes. So I have actually got um, this really nice shorts bra, sports bra and black top from Tesco's. Uh, and it's actually really comfortable. And yeah, I, I really enjoy working out in it. Um, because the shorts are so comfortable. They've got the base layer bit and then the short over the top. 
and the base layers don't ride up. Some of them, maybe you find that they ride and these ones don't and they're amazing. Um, but I did find that I had to go up a, up a size because it just didn't fit me otherwise. Um, and then I have also got Mini Active Wear. They're on Instagram. They're an amazing small company. Uh, I am actually a brand ambassador for them. Um, so I will put a discount code in the comments. So if you want to buy anything from them, then you use the discount code and I think you get 20% off. So, and it, the, the set is so cute. It's so comfortable and it's really nice to work out in. <laughs> Uh, next question I got is how long have you been playing for? So rugby, I've been playing rugby for, I started playing in year 9, end of year 9, so year 10, year 11, year 12, I'm about to go into year, I am in year 13, 4 years, that seems really weird to say that, 4 years I've been playing rugby, uh, but yeah, I really, I really enjoy it, uh, and I think if any girl wants to try rugby or boy, I don't discriminate, but if anyone wants to try rugby, then they need to go down to their local club or to their local club and just give it a try because it is the best thing I ever done. Uh, the next question I got is what positions in rugby can you play? So I can play all of the front row, loose head, uh, hooker, tight head. I can play flanker it's not my favorite place to be but i can and i can also play number eight really enjoy number eight as well um but yeah and my next question sort of links into that is what is your favorite position to play so my favorite position is tight head i really like playing tight head i I really don't like hooker because I can never get the line outs correct. I don't mind playing loose head if it's absolutely necessary. Flankers I just don't like. Uh, and number eight is sort of a, if I'm needed there, then I'll be there sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, tight head is probably my favourite place to play. The next question I got is, Players that you're excited to see play for the England squad. So, there are quite a few. Uh, players that I'm excited to see play are Adam Radwan from Newcastle. I think he's going to do great things for the England squad. And I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what he can do. Smith, Marcus Smith, I think. Yes, he got two caps in the summer. But I think that... If he's given the opportunity to wear that number 10 shirt this autumn, he could do great things for them. Um, Don Brandt, I know he's got a couple of England caps, but again, he wasn't a full-time number eight. And now that Billy is in England, if Billy Bonapola isn't in the England squad, I think that he's going to be given more of a chance. Um... There are quite a few. I'm actually really excited to see Marla back in the England squad. Uh, even though he retired like three years ago <laughs> after the last World Cup. Um, but yeah, they're just some that I'm excited to see. Um, but I think I read a Mike Brown article the other week uh, about having Marcus Smith at number 10. Um, but don't put Farrell at number 12 next to him put like um Manu or not, oh, not Manu Tuolangi yeah Manu Tuolangi uh put him at number 12 because him and him and Smith could do good things together um but him and Marchant work well together so Marchant at 12 could be a great thing or Henry Slade at 12 could be a good thing so Smith has got all these options and Eddie's got all these options um but I do think number 10 will stay with Evan. I, I don't want to say that, but I do think it will. I think that 
Owen might have a couple more seasons for England in him. Um, but then you need to think about maybe... And 2023 is the next World Cup. Maybe maybe having the younger players come up sooner rather than later um, is a good thing because then they could be prepared for the 2023 World Cup, which is in France, I believe. But I could be wrong. But let me know in the comments if I am correct or if I am not. 2023 France World Cup. Uh, the next question that I got was... Can't find it. What is your favourite workout? Oh, okay. So, I get it now. So, my favourite workout, I read this question, like, once... Um, when when I asked these and I was like what? what 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 do you mean I could not think what this person meant uh but what I do so I do 50 squats 25 push-ups 25 sit-ups and then I do 25 weighted squats uh and then I do 15 minutes treadmill 15 minutes bike and then I normally do a 15 minute weight workout. Um, so that sometimes could be one rep max or um, anything like that. Uh, and if it was nice, I do sometimes just, I, I use, we've got a park up by us and I do sometimes use that. Uh, I do, I start with some running. So I do um, 20 meter dash or a bit of bleep test to start with and then I do some small work small workouts and have a bit of fun like me and my mum did done it together a couple of times um but yeah so that's what I do in my workout but if you guys want to see one I think there was actually one on my channel but it is a vlog one um but yeah so this is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your friends so everyone gets to watch it. Um, and I hopefully will be starting to post once a week again. I hope that's the case anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I spent so long for not posting. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.